Man United, closely monitoring De Ligt as well as Branthwaite. Manchester United are in the market for a new centre-back and the Dutchman could reunite with his former Ajax boss. Manchester United are closely monitoring Matthijs De Ligt's situation at Bayern Munich. United and Eric Ten Hag are in the market for new centre-backs this summer with Raphael Varane leaving. The Red Devils are also said to have agreed terms with Everton defender Jerry Branthwaite. Manchester United are closely monitoring the situation of central defender Matthijs de Ligt, according to Sky Sports Germany's Florian Plettenberg, who has revealed that his current employers, Bayern Munich, willing to let him move on for a suitable offer. Eric Ten Hag, who is now in line for a new three-year contract after being on the brink of losing his job, has the centre-back position high on his priority list, according to The Athletic. Alongside, that is a new central midfielder and a striker, 2.IN 2023-24, the heart of the back line was one of his primary problem areas, with injuries to Harry Maguire, Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Varane all stunting their progression. The latter's departure this summer also means that reinforcements are required this summer. Ten Hag is still a big fan of De Ligt. The Dutchman could be allowed to leave Bayern still just 25 years of age, the leader Dortborn de Ligt has until the summer of 2027 on his current Bavaria contract, but there is every possibility he may be enticed by the prospect of linking up with his former Ajax boss Ten Hag. While at Ajax, de Ligt played 70 times under Ten Hag's stewardship, notching 8 goals and 5 assists. According to Plettenberg, Manchester United's pursuit of a new centre-back includes the Dutchman, with Ten Hag still a big fan of the former Juventus leader, as described by Jamie Carragher. Understand Manchester United is closely monitoring the situation of Matthijs de Ligt. Eric Ten Hag is still a big fan of de Ligt, and Man United FC is looking for a new centre-back. Insisting that De Ligt would be allowed to move on to pastures new this summer thanks to the signing of Stuttgart's Hiroki Ito and their ever-growing interest in Jonathan Tarr of Bayer Leverkusen, Plettenberg suggested that he is totally focused on potential Euro 2024 glory with the Netherlands. De Ligt is allowed to leave FC Bayern for a suitable offer. Also, because Ito will sign today and Tarr is still a top target. De Ligt, top player. Top mentality. Now totally focused on the Euros. The centre-back department is relatively bloated in Munich, what with Deo Upamano, Kim Minit J and Eric Dio already in the mix and £68 million star De Ligt's game time could only be reduced further thanks to the aforementioned additions of Ito and Ta, Man United and Branthwaite agree personal terms. Everton are still demanding £70 minute terms of a new centre-half, Everton's Jared Branthwaite is the obvious first choice for Ten Hag and his entourage. Quick, strong, aerially dominant, the former Carlisle United man would be the perfect replacement for Raphael Varane. The addition of the Englishman could be just around the corner as the Times have reported that the 13-time Premier League champions have agreed a deal with the sought-after 21-year-old, which would see him earn around £150, £160, 000 per week. The Red Devils are yet to agree a transfer fee with his Premier League employers, who are believed to be standing firm on their valuation of around the £70 million mark. Branthwaite, an imposing centre-back, emerged into first-team proceedings at Goodison Park in 2023-24 and became a mainstay in their back line, racking up 3,657 minutes in all competitions. Jerry Branthwaite, keen to join Man United after terms agreed. The talented centre-back has already agreed personal terms with Man United. Jerry Branthwaite willing to join Man United even without Champions League football. Everton are asking for 65 to £70 million amid financial struggles. Man United have already agreed on personal terms with Branthwaite Everton defender Jerry Branthwaite is a keen to join Manchester United even without Champions League football, according to journalist Fabrizio Romano. The Italian football insider suggests personal terms are not a problem for both sides, while Everton are the real issue, since they value Branthwaite at 65 to £70 million and have no intention of negotiating, according to Romano. The Englishman, who had a breakout year for the Toffees, could become the first signing in Sir Jim Ratcliffe's era at the club as United are set for negotiations over the transfer fee. Branthwaite was a regular for Sean Dyke's side last season, earning plaudits for his performances that helped Everton avoid relegation despite multiple points deductions. According to the Times, United have already agreed personal terms with Branthwaite as they look to replace Raphael Varane, 
who departed the club on a free transfer. The centre-half is expected to be the new partner for Lisandro Martinez in defence as the Red Devils aim to bounce back after finishing 8th in the Premier League last season. Branthwaite happy to join Man United. But Everton are demanding big money Romano, speaking on his YouTube channel on Friday morning, suggested that Everton are unwilling to lower their demands for Branthwaite at the moment. What I can confirm on the player side is that the player would be happy to join Manchester United, even without Champions League football, the player is keen. Personal terms are not a problem. The Times yesterday night reported this story and on the player side there is no issue, Branthwaite would be keen on joining Manchester United. The real issue is Everton, they have no intention to negotiate a normal fee or an acceptable fee. At the moment they are asking for big money, something around 65-70m, not less than this. According to the Times, United have agreed to a weekly wage of around pound 150, pound 160, 000, a week with Branthwaite already. Everton's struggles with financial fair play could favour Man United in their pursuit of Branthwaite, the Toffees are in a hurry to sell players before the end of this month to meet Premier League profit and sustainability rules. Branthwaite, who was called up to England's preliminary squad for Euro 2024, joined Everton in 2020 and made 54 appearances for the senior side, scoring four goals, Man United pushing hard for Euro as Branthwaite bid rejected Manchester United are pushing hard to sign Laney Euro from Lille but face competition from Liverpool and Real Madrid. Manchester United are pushing hard to sign Lane Euro, according to David Ornstein. United are looking to strengthen in defence but face competition from Real Madrid and Liverpool. The Red Devils have also had an opening offer turned down for Everton's Jared Branthwaite. Manchester United are eyeing a summer move for Lille's Lane Euro alongside Jared Branthwaite of Everton, the Athletics' David Ornstein has reported as the Red Devils look to soften the blow of Rafael Varane's summer departure. The former Los Blancos man, after 95 games of service, will leave Old Trafford this summer, leaving Eric Ten Hag's men shortchanged in the centre-back department. Finding a replacement for the decorated Frenchman could determine how the former Ajax Chiefs' third season in the dugout pans out. According to the Times, the 13-time Premier League champions have agreed personal terms with the aforementioned Branthwaite in a bid to beef up their options in the heart of the back line, with Ornstein confirming on Friday afternoon that a £35 million bid has been rejected. However, their interest in Euro suggests they could be willing to add yet another body to their roster. Man United actively pursuing deal for Euro. Liverpool and Real Madrid contenders for his signature as things stand, Lisandro Martinez is Ten Hag's only solid choice in the centre of defence. Both Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof remain part of the club, but whether either will get a sniff at first-team proceedings next season remains unclear, while the likes of Willy Cambuala and Johnny Evans, if the veteran stays, will likely play bit-part roles. According to Ornstein, Premier League duo Liverpool and, most notably, Manchester United are actively pursuing the young Frenchman and pushing hard to get him, with the teenager emerging as one of the most coveted defenders in world football. However, there is a growing reluctance that Real Madrid will win the race for his signature, Euro, 18, could be set to leave the French outfit on a free transfer next summer given upon his contract expiration and, as a result, his employers will be keen to part ways with the St. Maurice-born ace in the coming months in order to earn some money from his sale. Real Madrid, on the back of their record-extending Champions League win, are also huge admirers of the Lille gem, who football talent scout Jocek Kulik described as an 11 tenths player. He became a mainstay in his side's backline throughout the 2023-24 campaign, racking up 3,690 minutes in all competitions, the most of any outfield player for his employers. Ten Hag in line for new Man United deal. Romano, new deal is really concrete in an incredible turn of events, Ten Hag went from being on the verge of losing his job to potentially being offered a fresh three-year contract. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, the deal to see the 54-year-old extend his greater Manchester stay is really concrete. As the campaign came to a close, fresh off the back of a 2-1 victory over Manchester City in the FA Cup final, the former Ajax man went into the off-season uncertain whether he would return to a job. Ornstein broke the news, however, that following the club's thorough internal review, which was focused around Ten Hag's future, the Old Trafford brass decided to stick with the current boss. 
In 2022-23, Ten Hag managed to end the club's six-year trophy drought in the form of a League Cup. He followed that up with an FA Cup triumph a season later and managed to win over a large part of the worldwide fan base, such was the nature of the win against their local rivals. How he will fare in his third season at the club remains to be seen. Man United make big offer to sign Lanier Euro from Lille. Manchester United have reportedly made a big offer to sign Lille centre-back Lanier Euro. Manchester United have reportedly made a big offer to bring Lille defender Lanier Euro to Old Trafford. Euro is a top target for both United and Real Madrid, with the former making a bid close to the £50 million valuation. Everton's Branthwaite is also on Man United's radar, with the club keen to secure young talent for their defence. Manchester United, amid their pursuit for reinforcements at centre-back, have tabled an offer for Lille starlet Lanier Euro, according to reports, with the Red Devils having to battle it out with none other than Real Madrid for the 18-year-old signature. With Rafael Varane leaving the club this summer and given that last season ended with a negative goal difference of minus one, Eric Ten Hag's need to bolster the heart of his back line has never been more pressing. The likes of Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof, Johnny Evans and Willy Cambuala were all used more than the club would have hoped throughout the 2023-24 campaign. In Sir Jim Ratcliffe and company's first summer at the club, wholesale changes are to be expected as a result. Man United, table offer, for Euro. Big bid are very close to Lille's demands back in March, transfer expert Fabrizio Romano revealed that Manchester United, alongside Los Blancos, had scouted the Lille gem ahead of an all-important summer and now, AS, via sports witness, have insisted that the Red Devils are very serious about the player. In the report, it states that the Premier League juggernauts have put a big offer on the table, one that is very close to Euro's employers' lofty demands. That said, the teenage phenom, labelled a beautiful player by former Lille boss Paolo Fonseca, is still keen on joining Real Madrid after their record-extending triumph on the Champions League stage, Los Blancos, however, are not going out of their way to snare the Frenchman this summer as they feel as if their squad is star-studded will suffice for the time being, which may cleave the door ajar for other suitors to swoop in. The 2005-born central defender's current contract runs out in the summer of 2025, meaning that his employers will be keen to address his future to avoid losing him on a free transfer, according to The Athletic, centre-back, alongside a central midfielder and a centre-forward, is an area in dire need of strengthening in the coming months, meaning Ratcliffe and his Ineos-led team will be keen to shore up their defensive line ahead of an all-crucial season in 2024-25. That's where the likes of Euro and Everton's Jerry Branthwaite, who has agreed personal terms with the Old Trafford outfit, come in. Young but promising talent is what the 71-year-old billionaire admires and the aforementioned duo fit the bill expertly, Branthwaite, keen, on Old Trafford move. Lack of Champions League is not a deterrent from one centre-back to another, Everton ace Branthwaite is also on the club's shortlist. As alluded to, personal terms between the former Carlisle United man and their would-be buyers have been agreed, which would result in the defender in question being paid between £150,000 and £160,000 on a weekly basis, for the Times. Italian journalist Romano has now revealed that the once-capped three Lions talent is keen on a career-defining move from Merseyside to Manchester despite their lack of Champions League football though Everton remain firm in their stance that any proposal below their valuation of 65 to 70 million pounds will be immediately snubbed. Despite missing out on England's finalised Euro 2024 squad, it's safe to say that the 21-year-old enjoyed a fruitful campaign with the Toffees. Alongside James Tarwowski and in front of Jordan Pickford, the youngster helped his side boast the fourth-best defensive record in the Premier League.